guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Marlissa if you're new here and today we are unboxing Ipsy's April box. <laughs> I am so thrilled to see what's inside. And if you're not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more Ipsy unboxings and beauty content. So this week prior to this, I actually received this little mini box from Ipsy as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this um, I believe it's like a little gifting to inform us of their new collab if you haven't heard of it. I thought this was such a cute little touch. I am so, so, so obsessed with Drunk Elephant. This is actually my absolute favorite product from them. It is so soothing on my skin. It feels so neat. So this was just like a little, a little gifting that they sent over. Um, super, super, super happy about this. My absolute favorite Drunk Elephant product. And they also sent over this little, um, I believe this is like a little phone keychain and it's so cute. It says Ipsy and it has little pearls. I just thought this was so darling. So I will definitely be throwing this on my little phone because so cute, so neat, and so cute for spring. So just to unbox this Drunk Elephant product, this is the mask. It's very hydrating. It's so perfect for dry skin, but even not for dry skin, it just literally makes my skin feel like baby skin again. So I will forever love this product as long as they don't change the formula, but such a favorite. <laughs> now this was the message behind that little like gifting here. Um, so basically Ipsy and BoxyCharm are pretty much coming together. So I'm just gonna kind of like pinpoint some of the things on here and not have to read the whole thing, but their glam bag is gonna be $13 a month and you get 24 seven insider access to steals up to 80% off, which is like super crazy good deal. For BoxyCharm, um, it's gonna be 28 a month along with 24 seven insider access to beauty brands like Too Faced, Glow Recipe, Tarte, so a lot of prestige brands. And then they have what's called Icon Box. Experience eight uber coveted products curated by beauty's biggest icons worth up to 350 for only 58 a quarter. So $58 over $350, I think that's definitely worth it. So they're basically just leveling up all the Ipsy memberships. Um, if you have any questions, just drop them below and I can see if I can answer them for you. But otherwise, let's go ahead and jump into this month's April's Ipsy box. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, Ipsy Creator Incubator. April is anything is possible. Spring for it. Ooh, so we're focusing on big blush energy, vinyl lips, Ooh, and bare necessities. So just kind of showing through some more natural. Okay, so I have this thing in here and then I have products in here. So I'm gonna start with opening this first. Guys, I'm so, <laughs> so excited about this. Oh my goodness, look good, do good. This is a cute bag. I like the material. It's very, um, feels like one of my beach bags. So this is really cute. Nice little beach bag. Um, so this has got to be the glam bag, just the regular glam bag. So first we have this Hey Honey Come Clean Facial Scrub. It cleanses and exfoliates in a little mini size. Next we have this Shades by Shane, the gel eyeliner in the shade Brown Sugar. Then we have a little mini mascara. It's called I Am Beautiful I, as in E Y E. That's clever. From Real Her. Then we have a little mini, this looks like a little mini eyeshadow, but Shayna B, my Annie colors. 
I like the little flamingos in it. Cute. And last, we have this the professional good cleanup pore purifying foaming cleanser. I literally always need little mini clean cleansers to take for travels. I go through these so quickly, so quickly. So I'm excited I haven't tried their cleanser yet. Um, but maybe I'll love it because I love their stuff. All right, and now we have the rest of the stuff in the glam bag, box, glam box. So I don't see a glam bag, like a glam bag plus bag. So unless they just didn't put one in here, maybe that's like not a thing anymore. I don't know, you guys let me know if you guys get one in your box. So first we have this Olay Hendrickson Love, Love, Love This Brand, such good stuff all the time. This is their Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. I'm just gonna open this and show you what it looks like because I've never seen this before. It's literally a stick. I don't really have, I don't, I don't really get anything from the smell. I thought for sure it would smell like banana. Maybe it does like a little bit, but maybe I just can't smell it. <laughs> so I've never tried this, but if you have, let me know in the comments below if it's a good one because I'm very curious to see. Next we have one of my, <laughs> What a good box. Next we have Pacifica Vegan Collagen Recovery Body Butter. I am so obsessed with Pacifica. Oh, it's close. Um, I'm not gonna open this because I think I have tons of lotions open currently, but I'm very excited to try this one. I personally love their vegan collagen line. Um, I, use, I use a lot of their products for my face, but I haven't tried their body butter in this line but really true fan of Pacifica, so excited. And it is a glass bottle, which I do love. I love when products are glass and not plastic. Though the lid is plastic, but I get there's only so much you can do. Really like this. Next we have, ooh, we have Slate London Lip Mask. Oh, this is so cute. It has a little smile on it. <laughs> so this will be nice. I know like winter is on its way out. Thank goodness. See you later. But lip masks are always so nice. And this has a lemon scent and non-tacky texture. So I'm excited to give this one a try. Though I don't smell like any lemon. So again, my smell might be broken today. Now we have a Drunk Elephant product in here. This is their O Blues Rosy Drops. So from what I'm trying to understand, I think you pretty much dab it onto your cheeks um, with your serum or cream for a rosy wash of color. So just to give yourself a little more color with your skincare. And then our last product, we have Fenty Beauty. Now this is called Snap Shadows. I always love her packaging. So they are definitely smoky shades. I personally, I kind of stay away from smoky shades nowadays. I used to like really dive into that look, but for me, I just like more light and I really don't even use eyeshadow too, too much anymore, so. beautiful, but I'm going to put this away to a friend or family because I just don't see myself using it. Though I am really interested to see how the formula is because I haven't tried her eyeshadows and I literally wear her foundation and her concealer and literally I use so many of her products. Such a fan, but we'll see. Maybe I'll try it and then give it away. I'll see. Well, that includes this month's April Ipsy unboxing. Let me know what you guys think below. Drop a hello just to say hi. And if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Bye.